Welcome to the Peyton Randolph House. Prepare for a haunted history. This house predates America's founding. It was built in 1715. It was founded by Sir John Randolph, who was knighted. It was Will later to Peyton, who was one of our founding fathers, president of the Continental Congress, and cousin of President Thomas Jefferson. It was at the Revolutionary War where all the troubles began. The governor of Williamsburg, Virginia, decreed that any slaves at the Randolph House that were loyal to and assisted the British would be freed, which they were. But after the war, and we, America, had won, these slaves were treated awful. One Eve was separated from her son, and these slaves returned with a vengeance to haunt the Randolph House. Two young children fell to their death Two men shot each other. A Civil War veteran died. The Marquis de Lafayette was one of the very first in 1824 who experienced the haunting, the power of the Randolph House. The Marquis felt a hand on his shoulder, felt himself being pulled. When he was sleeping, he heard the haunting cries of children. He ran from the Randolph House. He fled in the 1960s. Esteemed University William and Mary used the Randolph House for extra dorms. And a young man sleeping also felt a tug. And his bed violently shaking. He gets up, there's no one there, and he runs. Flees the Randolph House. Are you thinking of doing the same right now? A security guard down in the basement felt a hand on his ankles. He couldn't move. He was pinned to the ground as he heard these, these shrieks. He calls for help. Help comes and they have to pry the door open. In the eastern side of the house, a woman heard cries from children. An alarm went off. They get out to the area after she passed away and they see a fire extinguisher in the middle of the room. No footprints at all. No explanation for how it got there. Now, there is video evidence on our YouTube channel and on our website that shows these claims are true. The security guard I referenced and others are interviewed there. Now why? Why all this haunting? Two Indians were buried under the house here. Research shows that many other Indians were buried here as well. So, as a result of that, they're getting their revenge. Many incidents here on these tours where we have these devices that detect ghostly activity automatically shut off. The spirit boxes and our nightly and our nightly ghost watches going off and they just want us to leave. They just want us to get out which is what I think we're gonna do right now, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed your tour of the Peyton Randolph House. Let's get out of here.